box. Out of the box. Oh, out of the box. Out of the box. Take one box, put it with another. Let's look for one that's long and wide. You come too. We'll build a house together. Now what's it gonna be inside? Allowing my swell sexy faggots, dykes, foot fappers, and other sick fucks. It is I, Basil of Baker Street, the leader and co founder of the multisexual Speakonia group, the established union. And I bet you're all curious as to what me and my swell group have been up to since our last introduction video. And if you already know the answer by now, then shut up and listen. Now then, for those of you who remember the events of the W Forever 91's secret missing episode of Count Dracula, which featured the first ever on screen appearances of our two footster members Mooncock, ha ha ha, I mean Moonrock from the Pebbles and Bam Bam Show and his pedal pal Quack Up Duck from Yogi's Galaxy Goof Ups. But you may have also noticed that it also featured our latest additions to the team by the names of Kay and Yuri, from the anime series and franchise known as Dirty Pair, and of course those swell seven superheroes, the Big Bad Beetle Borgs, from well, Big Bad Beetle Borgs. Well my fellow six thucks, I am happy to announce that during the time of those swell events, we have been busy recruiting some new members into the unestablished union. Yes, we have been very hard ha 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 hard at work bringing in some new potential six thuck talent in order to gain a wider recognition in the Speakonia community, and of course to keep up with our mortal enemies, in the elitist alliance and other prudish groups. In fact, why don't we say hello to some of those aforementioned new recruits, starting with this one here. Alright big boy, take it away. Kamichila, my name is Matamoru Chiba, but all you shoujo I anime fans may know me better, as the magical hero from the Sailor Moon franchise known as Tuxedo Mask. But anyways, you're probably scratching your various private areas wondering why my voice is different from the one I had in DJ Swell 69P's secret missing episode of Sailor Moon. Well to put it simply, Beef's Joe 92 was too lazy to record the Ivona Joey voice off the demo site using Audacity, so he just decided to go with another voice that matches the one of my anime series that he could use with his text aloud program. But I'm sure that, if, and when I'm ever used again in some other YouTubers' videos, they can gladly go back to giving me my original Ivona Joey voice. Ha ha ha. All the chimps worsens and all the chimps men couldn't put the fourth wall back together again. Well it's best we get that joke out of the way sooner than later. Anyways, I'm sure that you're also curious as to what I've been up to, since my encounters with the Barney Bunch during the events of the aforementioned secret missing episode. And if you're not, then like my rodent sensei Basil Sama said earlier in the video, shut up, and listen, cause I'm telling you anyway ha ha ha. Now it's no stretch to the imagination as to why I chose to join the unestablished union of all groups, as despite being the only main male character in the Sailor Moon franchise, I still paled in comparison to the rest of the female cast. Hell, even the Shiteno were more established than yours truly. Erg. Also, being in the unestablished union has helped me fully express my true sexual orientation, and well, let me put it this way. I actually didn't mind at all that I was gang banged by those two Barney Bunch Bomb Bombers, especially by that Otaku Yumino Gyrio, as he happens to be 14 years old. Yes that's right, I am a pedophile. <laughs> Oh don't be so shocked you noobs, the fact that I was a college student who had the hots for a 14 year old still in junior high pretty much gave that away. Ah yes, my credentials as a raging child chaser were so fucking obvious that I even got a part time job at Nerve HQ just to help pay for my college funds. Ha ha ha. And for the record, yes, I did in fact have a thing for Usagi Tsukino, but despite my overwhelming feelings for my sexy little bunghead, I knew deep down that she was actually a cabbage chomping shitsu mania, even though I pretended not to notice all the signs. That's why I never actually tried to make a move on Usagi Chen, although there were moments where I couldn't control myself when my Lowy Conjuces took over. Erg. But despite the fact that Usagi preferred pussies over penises, she still allowed me to hang around with her, especially when it came Hataha came to relieving her tensions after school with my Desu Desu magic fingers. 
Yes, aside from being a raging cradle robber, I also have a huge foot fetish and one of my favorite features about Wasabi Chan, aside from her sexy sexy hair buns, was of course those lavender smooth gifts from Lilith that were her pan pancakes. Oh yeah baby, Wasabi Chan would always let me massage her feet whenever she was stressed out from schoolwork or playing video games at the local arcade. Why sometimes the sweet embrace of her warm slender soles nestled between my fingers and palms made all the blood rush to my head and I would use the leakage from my nosebleeds as pedal lube. Hey, she says as long as it comes out of my nose it's fine. Of course, I'm the one who feels the real tension, as I have to make sure that I don't let my rose stem blossom in Usagi's presence, otherwise she would strangle me to death with her extra long ponytails. Erg. But regardless I always follow my sweet bun head's conditions just to lay my hands on those creamy smooth forms of flesh from her otherwise women only excess parts. And when I'm done pleasuring those tender toes I rush to the nearest secluded area and pray like hell that Lilith grants me that sweet release. It's just as swell as it sounds. But even if the love of my life is a raging tuna tugger, you can rest assured that I'll still fight to protect her, as my alter ego tuxedo mask, along with the rest of my unestablished allies, as I uphold the glory and swellness of my new mouse master Basil Sama. In the name of love, justice, swellness, and of course pedophilia, I'll punish you. Em, nope, even saying that lie doesn't make me feel any more established than I already am. <laughs> oh well, it was worth the shot, ha ha ha. Anyways, since Usagi is pretty much out of the question, perhaps I should try my luck with the other senshi instead. Come ha 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 come to think of it I remember that Rei Hino chick having the hots for me in season 1, and the chances of her actually giving that try hard you which Hirokumata any kind of satisfaction is pretty fucking slim. Hmm, maybe I should get reacquainted with Rei Chan, for old times sake. Wink. But I'd best be quick about it, as I hear my old college roomie and BFF Motoki Furuhata is considering asking her out. Yes Motoki is also a raging pancake chomper, in fact it was actually Momokun who introduced me to Podophilia in the first place, yes he's a bisexual, by the way. And ever, since my aforementioned encounters with the Barney Bunch, I'm a lot more open-minded around Momokun, especially, when he makes his foot advances towards me, wink. Anyways, why don't I just let my aforementioned pedal pal tell you more about himself. Alright Momokun, get your sexy feet out here. Why, hello there, my fellow pork bun playmates. My name is Motoki Furahad, and everything my VSF Momo Kun says is true. That I happen to be a toe tugging heel hump and soul sliding pancake connoisseur. Unlike my aforementioned joint at the heel pedal partner, I am also somewhat of a pedophile. Yes, it's no surprise that I attract all manner of young ladies of the junior high variety, and rather than try to avoid it, I instead choose to embrace it. Plus the great American Jim David Wooderson, from Dazed and Confused once said, I get older, they stay the same age. Yes they do, yes they do. Wink. But now let's focus more on my news, foot fetish. My whole reason for opening the Game Center Crown, and yes I happen to own said swell establishment, by the way, was so that I could invite all manner of young girls and boys from the ages of 7 to 14, and then offer them a foot massage whether they get stressed out from playing, or if they're just getting warmed up to play. Either way, I'm the one who wins the game each time. Ah! I also have a no-shoes policy here at the Game Center Crown. Whenever you enter my swell establishment, be sure you remove anything covering those pan pancakes. Ah yes, nothing like picking up a smooth pork bun fresh from a linoleum floor. Wink. And the foot fun doesn't stop there, as I am also a regular customer at the world, renowned Tendo Brothel, and with the money I collect from my many satisfied customers at the Game Center Crown, I am pretty much set for life when it comes, uh, comes to paying for a night of pedal pleasure. Yes! Moreover, I heard that Namiki Sama is in the process of building a new branch of the Tendo brothel right here in the Juban district, with two of the Sailor Senshi being the main prostitutes. Yes, that will be Dezu Dezu Swallow And as the previous panel in the video complied, I am also a leg man and no sweet Lilith, does it ever bear repeating. In fact, you might say that I happen to be the biggest leg luster in the whole of Japan, a title which has even caught the attention of the Tomomiki legend himself, Ataru Moromoshi, who also considers himself quite the drumstick connoisseur. Although me and Ataru's little leg rivalry is mild by comparison when it comes to my mortal enemy, a smug written gin by the name of Oliver Reed, the self proclaimed biggest leg man in the universe. Erg yes, Ali Kuhn is always trying to one-up me when it comes to the cash and fight persuasion, but I always manage to steal his satisfaction right from under him, and man, does it ever get that baka noob's arse in a tizzy. Ah! Well I think I talk long, ah, long enough, perhaps I'll go further into detail about my foot and leg love, if and when someone makes me a secret diary or something. 
Speaking of secrets, here's a secret agent you Britain gins may find familiar. Boo the lolly mice well chaps, my name is Danger Mouse, the world's greatest secret agent, or at least that's how I was hyped up, to be in my swell Cosgrove Hall animated show. Ha ha ha. But anyways, I'm sure that you're all itching to know, why I'm in the unestablished union, and what my sexual orientation is? Well folks, that there is a secret, a secret that shall only be revealed if, and when someone does a secret missing episode of yours truly. Yes. All the kids worsen and all the kids men couldn't put the fourth wall back together again. Good grief! Anyways my good viewers of YouTube land, I will however tell you about my recent activity, as an now swell member of the unestablished union. Now then, anyone who watches my swell series, knows that I've faced many a madcap cavalcade of criminal masterminds in the past. Including my arch nemesis Baron Silas Greenback, that mad scientist Dr. Augustus P. Crumhorn, the mysterious and terrifying Copper Conk Cassidy, and that showbiz crazy vampire Count Duckula. Well I don't know much about the Count, but the rest of the fiends I mentioned, are now wreaking havoc in that unswell British nation known as Photophobia. Yes this is a flag that beats you and 92 made to represent the unswell country, those who wish to use said picture in their future videos feel free to click the link below. Anyways, if those evildoers think they can escape swell justice, just by hiding amongst their own unswell kind in a prid country, well then they're sadly mistaken. Rest assured that I, Danger Mouse the world's greatest secret agent will be there to deliver swell justice in the name of oh wait, it appears someone has left a Well then, it appears as if one of my aforementioned arch enemies have tried to 86 me in my own introduction vid. Ugh. Good grief somebody better make a secret missing episode for me soon, so that I can find the culprit responsible for this. All the kids worsen and all the kids men couldn't put the fourth wall back together again. Good grief! I wish that someone would come up with a different fourth wall gag. It's a shame to see such good eggs go to waste like that. Well you know, what they say DM, you have to break a few fourth walls just to make an omelet a hammer. Tenfold, shush. Oh heck. Well I think I've talked long enough. Your turn, ladies. Hold on, DM. Don't be introducing those aforementioned erg ladies just yet, because of a certain communist party beef stew 92 is limited to only 15 minute long videos, and we are getting close to reaching the 14 minute mark, as it is. Erg. So, yes, this is going to be a two parter. In the meantime, beef stew 92 has whipped up a little something something for the end of the video, to hold you over, while you wait for part two, for the rest of the new members to be introduced. Alright, cue the swell commercial break jingle. Y'all be going on vacation? See, the thing is, if you bout to be up out this bitch, check it. Peep. Bush town. We be flying all over this bitch. Let me ask you something. You fin to raise up and get your travel on? From the interior to the exterior, you got to get your posterior in one of these big ass planes. Sh Dog, you lay in the cut straight sitting on your ass and getting your drink on and your snack on while we floss and fly this mofo all over this bitch. East coast, west coast, it don't matter. Nia, we'll get you to your hoe and back lickety split. No sh**. Then you be back at your crib chilling with a flat spliff, thinking we was some crazy ass angel. Hell, these fat, round, thick ass vessels run up in the sky so deep, it be crying. Yeah, you thought it was rain. So bring a towel, cause it Bush town. It's laid out like that. Call one of these fly ass Bush town. coochies and make all them punk ass co-workers of yours catch the vapors as you be off and about. You going? We fly you there. You been? We done already flew up in there. We got you covered like a jimmy hat. At Bush Town. We loves us some flying. And it be shown like a motherfucker.